Hi, my name is Jonah from Teachable, and I want to take a couple minutes to introduce you to the platform, let you know what kind of products you can create with Teachable, and how you can start adding content to your products, as well as preview what those products will look like for your future students and customers. First, let's talk about the kinds of products you can create on Teachable, and where might be a good place for you to start depending on where you are in your process. There's three primary products you can build with Teachable, digital downloads, coaching products, and online courses. Each one can serve a different purpose for your business and ultimately create an ecosystem that provides a powerful and impactful experience for your future students and customers. If you're just getting started expanding or building your online business, we highly recommend starting with digital downloads. These can be anything from a simple informational PDF to content planners, or even small packages of files that provide a transformation for your ideal customer. Digital downloads can be an incredible tool for growing an email list as you can offer them as free value in exchange for an email, or you can charge for them and they can be a great lower cost entry level product for your potential students. Now, if you're already comfortable with one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching, and you're just looking for a way to package and manage those offerings, a coaching product is gonna be perfect for you. A coaching product is gonna be a wonderful place for you to represent your offering, sell it, track your students' progress with milestones, and also provide them with any additional content or value they might need to achieve the transformation that you're offering them. Now, if you already have your curriculum built out or you're ready to start developing it, an online course is the perfect product for you. Online courses can be used in many different ways from repurposing your existing content to building a new transformational experience. The process for creating any of these products, adding your content, and previewing what they'll look like for your potential customers and students is similar across the board. So let's hop in and I'll show you how to do it. To create any new product, navigate to the product on the left navigation and choose the product you wanna create. Don't worry about the name or details of your product as you can always change them down the road. For a course, navigate to curriculum and choose the lesson, add your content. There's a variety of content you can add to a course and each lesson can serve a different purpose with different content. Once you've added content to your course or other products, you can always preview the student experience by hitting the preview button in the upper right hand corner. This is going to show you your course exactly as your students will see it. Here at Teachable, it's important to us that your products and your school feel completely your own. So I want to take a few minutes to show you a few ways that you can customize your school so it feels truly like yours and what that experience looks like for a potential student who's just purchased one of your products. So let's hop in and I'll show you how to do it. One of the easiest ways to give your school a unique identity is to customize your teachable domain name. You can do this by navigating to your site tab on the left side, then choosing domains under the site options. From here, you'll see your default teachable domain name. And if you go to the top right, you can click add domain and create a custom teachable domain name. Once you've created your custom teachable domain name, make sure to click the three dots on the right and choose Make Primary, and now you can use this domain name as the home base for your Teachable school. If you already have a website, you can link this domain from your existing website to direct people from that website to your Teachable school. If you want to link to a specific page on your Teachable school from your own website, you can see all of the pages available to link to in the Pages tab under your site options. Here you'll see all of your main site pages as well as any of your individual product sales pages. To get the link to these pages, simply click on the three dots and copy the URL link. You can now paste that link in the menu of your existing website if you want to link to that page from there. If you plan on using Teachable as the main home base for your business, you can also have further control in the navigation tab, where you can control what page students see when they're logged out or logged in, as well as control the navigation menus for your entire site. You can also add links in your footer to link to any of your social media, or other website. When it comes to the look and feel and branding of your entire Teachable website, you can control all of those options in the theme tab. Here you'll be able to add a custom logo, a custom thumbnail for your school, 
and a favicon. You also have the ability to change the font family, choose and customize your color palette, and more. All of these changes will be made across your entire Teachable site, and so it's an easy way to make your entire school feel on brand. Just like any of your products, if you want to preview your entire school, just click the preview button in the upper right hand corner and you'll be able to see your school as a potential student or customer would. For any of your existing or future students who have bought any of your products, they'll be able to easily navigate to your Teachable School domain name and log in on the upper right. From here, they'll be able to log in with the email and password they use to buy your course or use Google or their Teachable account to access all of the products that they've bought from you. If you're here, undoubtedly one of your goals is to sell your products. There's a couple steps you need to take to make sure that any of your products are ready to sell. You need to price your products by setting up a payment plan. Then there's a couple quick things to put in place to make sure you can accept payments. And then you either add your payment plan to your sales page, and then you either need to add that payment to a teachable sales page, or I'll also show you how to copy that link so you can add it to your own website, social media, or wherever your potential students would be encountering your course for the first time. Let's hop into the product now, walk you through all these steps. First, you wanna make sure that your school is set up to receive payments so there's no confusion in the future. You can do this in the settings tab on the left and then navigate to payments. From here, you'll be walked through the process of setting up your Stripe account, which will allow you to accept payments from existing or future students. Once you've set up your payments, you'll be able to choose the frequency for your payouts, as well as some other settings like the ability to accept PayPal and offer buy now, pay later for any of your products. If you ever have questions or wanna see your payouts, just click the view payout dashboard link here. Next, in order to accept a payment for a product, you need to set up a pricing plan. You can do this by navigating to any of your products, and clicking the pricing tab on the left. From here, you can add a pricing plan. There's many options from free all the way to subscription-based pricing plans. Once you choose one, you'll be asked to fill out some information, give the pricing plan a name and description, and you also have the ability to turn on some other settings, adding an enrollment cap or a limited time that this price is available. Once you have a pricing plan for any of your products, you have two options for making this available for your future students to purchase. The first is by adding this pricing plan to an existing Teachable sales page. You can do this by navigating to the sales page for any of your products. Then you wanna click Add New Block, choose the pricing plan, Hit add, and now you can choose the pricing plan that you want to make available for this product. Once a pricing plan is added to a sales page, students will be able to actually purchase your products on your sales page. Don't forget to click update in the top right once you've made these changes. And once again, you can always preview what your sales page looks like by clicking the preview button in the upper right. If you already have an existing website, you can simply copy the URL to your checkout page and paste that as a link on your existing website, which will take your customers directly to the checkout page where they can buy and access your products. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today. We can't wait to see what you build and the impact it has on the world. We'll see you soon.